Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to talk about how we would use a merge function that is available in Power Query to filter the volume of data we bring into Power BI. Now, uh, just to frame this up, let's say all of our data, our sales data, resides in uh, some kind of database. Uh, let's say SQL Server, Oracle, or SAP, or some, uh, some kind of a database. And the department that I work in, um, I'm in, interested in only a few of the products that my company sells because I, I report only um, on, let's say, 10, 15 of the 100 different products my company sells. So when I bring this data from the database, SQL Server, Oracle, uh, into my Power BI report, I want only the subset of data that I'm interested in. Now let's see how we would go about doing this in using merge function, right? Uh, just to speed up this video, I have already created a connection to my sales data, which is uh, in the SQL database. And I have a list of products that I'm interested in, that my department is interested in. And this comes from uh, an Excel file. Now, how we would go about using merge to filter my sales data. So let's start working on it. Um, so I go to the sales query. Let's select merge queries. And from the drop down, I'm going to select product details. Right now, if I look at the options available of the different kinds of joints that are there, there is a left outer join, which is basically keeps everything from the first table. In our case, the first table is product, uh, sorry, sales. So we keep all the row, rows of data from sales, but uh, get only the matching from product details, which is not our use case. Um, the second one, right outer, does the opposite of left outer. Uh, and full outer is basically brings all the rows from both the tables. Now, what we are interested in is inner join. So it gets only matching rows from both the tables. So in, the, in our scenario, it's going to uh, bring only these 10 products that I'm interested in when I join it with the sales table. Okay, so I pick those. The next thing is I have to pick the, the field that I am joining on. So product ID and product ID, those are the fields I'm joining on. You see this error message, I, I get an error message. Now let's see, it says the columns are not of the same data type. All right, let's go fix that first. So here sales product ID is of type text. Let's go to product details. Here if you see the product ID is of type number, let's change that to text. Oops, there you go. Doesn't want to work with me. Let, let's maybe use, click out of that. And maybe I can use this, make that text. Okay, I'm gonna say replace current. Now it's of type text. Now let's go back to sales. Go to merge queries again. Select product details. Now I'm doing the same thing, selecting product ID in both. Uh, and then I'll make sure that I pick inner join so we get only the matching rows. Click OK. I'll take a, a couple of seconds by, um, to read through and figure out only those rows that are matching. Now, this is where, um, while this is doing, let's talk about this. Now what this is doing is it's going to the database and bringing all the rows of data from uh, the SQL database. In this case, since it's Power Query, uh, uh, a Power Query window, it's bringing a small subset of data. But it's it still has to bring all the data into Power Query and then do the join uh, with, uh, with the, or, or do the merge queries. So, uh, it's not pushing the query to the SQL Server. It's not doing query folding, right? Uh, so that's that's something to remember. We'll talk about that more in a little bit. Okay, so we got the uh, join. 
And that's pretty much what we do. That's all we need. Now we're getting only those rows that are in my, uh, those products that are in my product details. And I really don't need this column product details anymore. It's, it's served its purpose for me. So I'm going to remove this column and I'm going to hit close and apply once it lets me do that. There you go. Close and apply. All right. This will probably take a few seconds and let's wait for that um, to finish. And once, and there you go. Looks like it's done. Let's go look at the data now. We're in the data view. Now, once if I look at the product uh, IDs that are listed in my data set, you see that I have only those 10 products that I'm interested in. Uh, so it, it filtered my data set and brought in only the 10 uh, product IDs that my department is interested in, and I can go ahead and build the reports from here. Now, let's talk about this a little bit more. Right? Let's go back to transform data. Now, if in this scenario, let's say I'm working with millions of rows of data in my um, in my data source, then uh, for this uh, merge query to work, it has to get those millions of rows from the data source, and once it does that, it's applying the uh, merge query uh, and then uh, reducing the data set to only those uh, rows that apply to my uh, my list of products. So, uh, so this will affect your performance, uh, especially if you're working with a large data set. Now, if you're working with a small data set, it's fine. Uh, it's, not, it's not a big deal, a few thousands of rows. But if you're in the millions, that's something to uh, take into consideration. You're, it's not query folded. All the data is being uh, pulled into Power BI or Power Query before uh, it's filtered out. Now let's contrast this approach uh, to using uh, functions in uh, Power Query. Now I have uh, covered uh, how to create uh, functions um, in an earlier video. I'll put the link uh, below. Uh, let's 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 contrast this. Right here we see that I just as I've just mentioned, uh, we are querying uh, the full data set. It's not query folded. Now if we look at um, my earlier video here when we look at the functions what happens is uh, I have a function here and uh, this function basically uh, is query folded right so if you look at the last step my filter step here where I'm filtering by the product ID um, parameter right? if you look at this you'll see that it is um, query folded so if I right click on filtered rows you see view native query that, that if you see that um, option it means uh, the query is being pushed to your database right so every time if i go to my final sales data here every time um, this function is called let me move uh, step through this uh, so that'll, that just to go through this let me step through this right so the first two is basically connecting to my uh, list of uh, products uh, changing the data type and then this is where I'm in, invoking the function. So in here to this function I'm passing my product ID or this product ID is passed to this function. So this row is executed on the server or it's query folded. Once we get the result the next row is executed. So it's sequentially executed and it's query folded. So it uh, you're not bringing in all the data into Power BI and then filtering it. So this it would be a better option uh, using functions uh, rather than using merge if you're dealing with uh, millions of rows of data. All right. So hopefully this information is helpful. Um, and uh, if you've got any comments, leave them below. And thank you for watching.